What is up guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are back with the F1 Manager Series. Today we tackle the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. This is round four and we are hoping, maybe even expecting red flags at this Grand Prix. Let's see if we can continue our good run of form. We got points in the last race. It's a good time to be a manager at McLaren. Let's get into it. Let's go to the training schedule for the pit stops. Uh, guys are probably getting on the more fatigued end of the spectrum, but we don't care. Give me fast pit stops. Just sleep more. Uh, 21.22 chance of, in, uh, of incident fatigue reduction. Oh, that lowers pit stop time, to be fair. Yep, let's do that. Confirm. Rest up, boys. I'm not I'm not completely brutal. Uh, we desperately need to get rid of, rid of Neil Huldy. He is going in the muds at some point in this season. We probably need to manufacture some chassis because we're pretty low on these and, and none are being made in the meantime. So let's whack on a couple of these. 10 and 20 days respectively. Uh, 25 days to the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. So a good chance for us to uh, get some upgrades going before that race. Yeah, three spare chassis. 1.6 mil. Okay, let's just go two. Chassis are a lot more expensive this year. What else do we need? Are we low on anything else? Four front wings. Five. Four. Oh, on the floors. Let's do another two of these. 800k. Normal approach. Boom. Wait, no. We're, good. we're, we're not going to upgrade on the floor again for a while. So let's do... Let's do quite a few of these. And that'll have us covered for a while. We've got a new rear wing coming. Five days. What else can we do? As Miso is under the sim rig. Very good. Oh, we wanted to do front wing, didn't we? Let's do a big chunk of the hours on front wing because this will give us a lot of performance. We've done... Oh, that's so many hours. I think we're going to split a little bit. We're going we're gonna to do some smaller upgrades for now. D divert less time and hours into it. Uh, I probably either want to go like uh, side pods or suspension next. So that's a decent chunk, but we can we can keep doing more. Medium and high speed probably need more attention. Oh, that'll make it go on in time for this race, but I'm thinking about the long term. Intense. Intense. 4.8 mil. Massive. Massive upgrades. All right, let's fast forward time. Scouting department is level two. Let's send out some more scouts. Scouting team. Increase scouting size. Boom. One extra scout. Back to race engineers. And to Bono. Scout for 30 days. Boom. Anyway, um, yeah, we're fast forwarding time now. Design is complete on the rear wing. That is mahusive. Oh, wind tunnel data concern. What's this? I'm concerned about some irregularities in the wind tunnel. The data output seems to be consistent, so there's been no impact on car park development. But the main rotor isn't starting up or winding down as smoothly as it once did. I'm hesitant to suggest this given how important car development is. But I'd like to shut down the wind tunnel to investigate this issue properly. We'll need to pause all current part design projects to do this. If we don't investigate the problem now, I'm concerned it could get worse. Of course, there might not be an issue in the first place. But I'd rather be safe than sorry. Oh, my words. These are some actual proper serious decisions. Oi, nah. We, we just finished our rear wing design, mate. That better not be pushing that further back. Before I deal with that, I'm manufacturing a rear wing. Because it is said it's already ready. Here it is. It's ready. But if we make that decision, we potentially lose this for a week. So what I'm saying is the the, the wind tunnel only affects new designs that are still like kind of coming together. Not parts that are ready to be manufactured. So if we start the manufacturing process, this shouldn't be affected. Let's do four of these. Now... That should mean, now that we've got that out of the way, we, we should be alright. I'm thinking we approve the investigation. Because we're not going to get the front wing until five days after Baku anyway. Let's do it. Let's let's approve it and just risk it not getting worse. Yeah, it's just design projects, not manufacturing. So this pushes back the front wing upgrade we had planned. It's now 32 days instead of 25. We have a regulation vote to deal with now. In Formula 1, regulation changes happen, blah, blah, blah. Uh, taking this into consideration, we are proposing some new minor technical regulations for next year. Uh, we believe regulations regarding the chassis and side pods have become outdated, so a revamp 
is in order. This proposal will imp impact the performance of both cars, so please review the technical breakdown below before voting. Right, do we want 10% losses in chassis and 30% losses in side pods? Or do we want 30% losses in chassis and 10% losses in side pods? Alright, let's do a poll. Let's have chat vote on this. Chat has spoken. We are going to vote for side pod focused changes. I would probably agree with this because this affects the bigger teams more than us. They all have better sh side pods than us. Let's do it. Uh, wind tunnel data concern. Okay. We did indeed discover a fault that would have escalated over time. With that resolved, I'm more than happy to start up all car part design projects again. And thank you for improving this investigation. Uh, it can't have been an easy decision, but it paid off. Okay, so it was going to get worse. It was going to get worse. So far, I feel like we're making the right decisions so far. I love how they've ramped up this section uh, as... Manager of the F1 team. I really like that. 13 days to the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Let's fast forward time now. It's time for the regulation vote results. In the end, our vote may not mean anything because the bigger teams may, to, may outnumber us. Who knows? It was a tie between side pods or chassis. In the end, the tiebreaker means voted for. So it is side pods focused changes for next year. I guess because all the big teams voted for it, they're like, oh yeah, let's, let's put it through. <laughs> Oh, uh, I got the deciding vote, did I? So that poll literally meant everything. Fair. Okay. Anyway, manufacturing is done on the rear wing. That's only one done so far. Uh, and it makes sense that we put that on Lando's car. So rear wing. Swap out. Uh, the old rear wing is 45% worn anyway. Uh, install on car two. It's always a risk putting on these new parts for practice because we can always bin the car. But this is why we make spares. Tire Porsche scouting is complete. He is going to cost 1.2 mil at least with a 435,000 buyout fee. Don't exactly have the cash right now, but when we do, uh, he'd be a great driver to have on boards, potentially. Uh, is this the head of Aero? No, technical chief. This is the technical chief. Hello, sir. This would replace Neil. Uh, morale is low. So, yeah, it would be being a Ferrari employee. Signing bonus. I'll give you a bit of that. I'll give you three seasons. Start immediately. Get to work on our car and take us to the front, please. I can promise much better working conditions than Ferrari. Do you accept the initial offer? Let's send it. He likes the signing bonus. You want more than three seasons? Um, this guy is one of the best, so I'm happy to tie him down for quite a long time. Four and a half mil. He's got a lot of patience, so let's just keep going. He might accept because of the four seasons now. Boom. It is done. 1.4 mil to break contract. Let's hire him. Absolutely huge. Welcome to McLaren. Enrico Cardile. I have saved you from Ferrari. And we now have a competent technical chief. Let's go. 94 rated. 94 rated. Apart from... The Red Bull guy. We have we have the best technical chief in F1 now. We are making some serious moves so early on in this save. And yes, we're technically bankrupt right now. We don't have the money to make any emergency parts or do anything, do anything else. But this is worth it in the long run. Let's fast forward time. Our, our car parts are just going to be that much better going forwards with better staff. Uh, yes, we're in debt. The board will continue to lose confidence for as long as the team is in debt. Look, we got to spend money to make money. It's fine. Manufacturing is done on the spare chassis. If that was a new part coming in, we would be a little bit screwed. Not going to lie. Oh! Lando goes to 88 rated. Tom Stalado goes to 81. Huge. 80 hour period ending soon. I know I've got these hours, but I can't use them because I've got no money. Time for race prep. Qualifying position. Two drivers, top 15. I'm going to push for it. I don't think we've quite got the, the level for Q3. Oh, we have, we're have. we bringing a rear wing upgrade. Let's Q3 with one driver. One driver. Risking it for the chocolate biscuit. Race targets. Finish position. 
One driver or two top 15. All right, let's risk it for this one too. We'll just have to hope we get through cleanly. We're going to promise two drivers in the top 15 for the next three races. If we get that, we get a big boy bonus. Big, big B, big boy bonus. We should have our second rear wing done. It's still on car one. There we go. New rear wing is on. Is there anything else we're missing? Potentially chassis. We only got one spec of those. Rear wing two, underfloor two. Side pods are on 61% condition. Yeah, I reckon we, we manufacture some or we design some new side pods very soon. I'm thinking there might be a red flag. There's going to be at least a safety car. There always is at Baku. But we're bankrupt. We have a lot of staff on our team. Team is going in the right direction. No money to spend on future car parts until more money comes in. Nothing left to do but to go to the race weekend. <laughs> Let's send out Lando straight away. We always seem to be like fairly quick at the start of sessions and on used tires. So let's get times in early for a change. Maybe before the rubber comes in. And then we'll see where we're at. I don't like how, how close Alonso is to us. Seven tenths off a Piastri. Nice. All right, we're going to go out again with both cars. But same set of tires. Used tires. Hear me out here. We're going to go out and we're going to send them out manually. Because I feel like there's a bit of an issue when you do auto. I feel like... The tires are underdone. They're undercooked. See, so, like they're cold. So let's put them on like a faster push mode right from the get go. Let's see if this second run is better for both cars. Two seconds off is mad. Better from Piastri. Uh, Lando improves too. I think. I think pushing harder has definitely helped. I'm gonna do that again. Lando's probably safe. Okay, so much free air. We're gonna take manual control already, and we're gonna go up to aggro. And we're gonna, you know, use a bit of fuel. Green, green. Yes, all right. Well managed. We've got both cars in Q2. That's all that matters. Right, we have both drivers firing on some cylinders for a change into Q2. Oh, a lot of cars coming down the pit lane there. Not ideal. Not ideal at all. Eight tenths off for Oscar. He did have older tires as well, to be fair. Red flag! Red flag. Fuel? Did we run out of fuel? I think we ran out of fuel. Damn it! Push too hard with Oscar. We pushed too hard. And he was so close to getting back to the pit lane as well. He was literally on his way in. His tires only warm up halfway around the lap. He didn't improve. Didn't improve on new tires. I reckon, I reckon that's probably temperature related. All right, as Oscar gets knocked out. He's actually not too far away from making it into Q3. Wow, if we if we get the tire temperature thing sorted, new tires, he might have actually made Q3 there. Let's see what this brings. 45.3. I get the feeling that wasn't very quick. And he didn't use much ERS on that lap. Yeah, I'm sending him now. Green, does he improve? Again, like, doesn't improve on new tires. So weird, man. We got slower. We got slower and slower as we went on. 44-1 in Q1. 45-2 by Q3. If we did a 44-1, we'd be fourth. We'd be fifth. What the hell? But yeah, Charles Leclerc is on pole. Out of the two Red Bulls. Hamilton, Stroll, Russell, Alonso, Magnussen, the big outlier in the Haas. Ocon in the Alpine, and then us in P10. Not uh, the worst place in the world to start the sprint. We have saved a lot of tires to the race, so that's uh, one positive to look forward to. But, yeah. Let's move forward now with practice two. All right, guys. Practice summary. It's a bit weird to throw this in after having a qualifying session already. But practice one was decisive uh, in getting our setup confidence. 86% for Oscar. 78 for Lando. Uh, Park Verme was locked after qualifying, so practice two was largely unimportant. Uh, but we just did a hugely long, long run in practice two. Same set of tires for the whole session and just did a race run to get that up to 100%, which we did in the final minutes of the session. So that was crucial. Drivers should have good understanding of the track now as we head into the sprint. So let's go full send. Oscar nailing it a little bit more on the setup side. What are we saying in terms of strategy? Which is quicker? 30 minutes 22 versus 30 minutes 28. Softs are quicker. So we run softs for certain for Lando. What about Oscar? Uh, it's probably better to run softs for this race, given that, you know, it might be beneficial to have those medium sets saved for the race. 
We only have two for the rest of the weekend, so we've got so many softs. Probably makes sense to just use the soft, really. Even though Oscar's probably going to suffer a little bit more for tires, softs has to be the way to go. Fuel. How many laps is the right? 17. I'll go plus one lap for both drivers on fuel. Whoa, you've gone one lap under, mate. Lando's a lot harsher on fuel for some reason. Don't know why. Let's do it, guys. Time for our first ever sprint race. On F1 Manager. Now's the time for the sprint here in Baku. And it's lights out, and away we go. Oh my word. We are a long way into the race. I didn't expect this. How's the start? How was the start? Oscar's held ground. Lando's gone backwards. Science moves into the top 10. Very good. Come on, Lando. Tires aren't overheating. We've got a lot of fuel on board for Lando. Yellow flag. Let's follow the drivers then through turn 16. Round they spin. Not a mistake they'll want to make again. Bye. Yeah! Okay, we should get DRS. DRS? Yes, huge. And Oscar gets DRS too. Beautiful. Amanda, you got to keep up. You have to keep up. All right, let's keep up the pressure with these tires. Stay close. Big battle going on for P9 right now. Side by side into Castle never works. They only just skate through there, by the way. Could be a red flag in Castle at any moment. Even with all this battling, how is Lando dropping? Honestly, as a manager, there's not much to do in a sprint race. There's no strategy. They basically just push and we see what happens. How are the tires going to drop that bad in just another... 12 laps. If they've only done 11% in 5 laps. I think I think we can go full send with the tyres. We have to go full send with the tyres because we don't have much pace otherwise. Side by side. Into the castle section. Is one of us going in the barrier? Oh, that was close. Another failed overtake. Very good. So I'm not asking you to overtake. Piastri is through on Sonoda. Let's go full attack. The tyres aren't really dying either. Halfway through the race, we've only lost 20%. These tire wear figures are wildly inaccurate. All sand. If we crash, we crash. Lando, can we breach into DRS, please? Fighting with Gasly. Okay, let's go deploy. Let's go all in for an overtake and here. Overtake. Okay. Drive in clear air. Yeah, we're good. That's not clear air. Push for clear air, please. Get underneath, everyone. And the outside. Squeeze him out. Yes. Give him the Ben Daly squeeze. That's what we love to see. 10 seconds to lock on, though. Holy hell. Castry is nearly clear. Okay, let's just deploy. Full send, mate. Get him away. Oh, and now that we, now we're overtaking, now that we're looking after things. Round the outside. Make it stick. Make it stick. Let's put him in the muds. Put him in the muds. Put him in the muds. Go the inside for this corner. Yes. Come on. Don't let him in. Don't let him in. Do not let him in. Oh, my words. I thought he was going to hit the wall there. I thought he was in the mud for sure. Come on, Lando. Just finish this move. You've got to squeeze him out harder. End the pain early and we can both get on with our race. I wonder if we're going to keep ahead here. If Ocon gets us, all that squabbling for the whole lap is in vain. Oh, good. Very good. Yep. That was worth it. See, Lando, when you overtake someone, overtake them quickly like that. Much less painful. He's looking. He's looking. He goes up the inside. See, Ocon gets the memo when it comes to defending. But unfortunately, we've overtaken Ocon at the worst time because now he gets DRS on us. And he gets the nice flying run around the outside and into track position again. Really good stuff. How's Piastri doing? He's in a world of his own now. I actually don't want him to overtake here, so let's see if... Let's leave it on low. Leave it on low right now. Yeah, stay behind. Stay behind. Clever. Now we go for it. Now we go for it. Full send. Deploy. If we had the overtake button, he'd be spamming it at this point now. We don't have that. Yeah, confirm. Here we go. 
He's attacking the corner. He's going for the move now. Let's go, Lando. And the outside. Deploy that battery. Here we go. This is all for no points, by the way. This is all for the first of the losers. I don't know why I care so much. Yeah, good. We're still fighting. This is painful. This is straight up pain. We're fighting this hard. And we're probably just going to give him DRS anyway, up to the line. Very good stuff. Ocon has played this very smart. He's just been a massive annoyance for us this whole sprint race. Fighting so hard. And he's always been in a good position to overtake when it matters. But with no battery, we finish your head. Check it flag. Oh, man. It's painful that there's so little points on offer in sprint races, but it is what it is. I think, in my opinion, it's very hard to make those races entertaining when you can't even do, you can't do, like, tire strategy or anything. It's just a sprint race. It's down to the drivers to overtake. But we're going to have a lot more of an influence in the main Grand Prix. That's where the big boy, big boy points are scored. We do start further up the grid by virtue of that sprint race. So at least we've got that to look forward to. Race strategy time. Now that's a strategy. It actually is the quickest strategy. <laughs> that's mad. Uh, yeah, let's go soft, soft, medium. Because we get we get a bigger effective undercut here at this stage of the race. And then we have that harder tire available in case there's a safety car at any point. Probably makes sense. For Lando, he's really good on his tires. So maybe even soft, medium here works for him. Or medium, soft, if we stick with the AI. What's the default? The, media, the default is medium hards. I'm thinking medium, soft. For Lando, we chill behind other cars. Yeah, save tires in the DRS and slipstream of others. And then we deploy the softs later on in the Grand Prix. Could be a good strat. Also with Lando, we, if we get these mediums out of the way early, we can then go soft, 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 whatever for the rest of the race if there's an early safety car. So I like this. I like this play for Lando. I'm pretty I'm pretty set in what I want to do. I like this strategy. Let's, uh, let's go full send and make it work. It's the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Here we go. It's lights out, and away we go. Let's hope we've crunched the right numbers this weekend. Heading into turn one. Big sends. I think uh, on tactics, let's go aggressive on high uh, attack. They've been making mistakes, so let's put them under pressure. Confirm. See if we can make some early places. Dropped already to Ocon, which nice is lovely stuff. Piastri okay. also loses a place. And gets it back straight away again. These Alpines are a thorn in our sides. Come on. Get Ock on. Use that battery. Oh! Nearly a double overtake into there. Oh my words. Alright. Good stuff. What tyres is everyone on? Softs for a good chunk of the leaders here. But then mediums for a large chunk of the rest. Yellow. That was a quick swear word. If there's a VSC at any point, we're boxing for Lando and we're going softs for the rest of the race. Probably don't need to burn so much battery here. Or oh, a bit of contact, I thought, between Sonoda and Magnussen. This is a frustrating train to be stuck behind. Yellow. VSC at worst. Oh. We're overtaking a Mercedes here. don't need to, mate. Lost DRS. Lost DRS. Get back in. Get back in. Crucial to cling on to the DRS of Russell here. Piastri moves back up to P13. Uh, yeah, for Lando, probably low. Rarely defend. Just focus on lap time, really. Stay with this guy is all I really want you to do. Maintain the status quo. Where's the detection points? We don't know. I think we're okay. We are. Oh, my words. We are just staying alive here. Piastri's getting on all right. Might make a move here for this position. Hello. All right, deploy. Let's push on now. Push up to the next group. Norris is looking all right. Might even cool the tires now. Yeah, this is perfect. This is perfect for Lando. Wait, deploy. Sure, we, might have, we might have messed this up here. We might have messed this up. Thankfully, he deploys a little bit on this short shoot here. 
We're gonna have to deploy again on this bit. Are we okay? Are we safe? I think we're okay. We've just got away with it this time. We're gonna have to be we're gonna have to be smarter next time rounds. Alright, we are learning, guys. We're getting there. Russell's on mediums. Equal tires. In the slipstream of quicker cars. That's not good. That's not good. We definitely need to deploy after castle. There's a lot of time to be gained in that section. Hopefully we get back in here. Come on, Lando. Save my bacon again. Nine tenths. Just nine tenths ever so briefly. I think we're going to lose it here. But we might get back in. We might get back in. Oh, we're fine. Lucky duck. Gastry, hello. This is worth focusing on. No! <laughs> All I wanted to do was change camera angle. <laughs> All right, let's have a look at the overtake. Right, let's have a look as we go into turn four. The opportunity's there. That's fine. He didn't need me. He didn't need my, didn't need my supervision. Smashed it. I think it's happening. Oh, that's close. Who gets DRS? It will be us. Uh, no, it will be us giving him DRS. Outplayed by Ocon again. And Lando overtakes Russell. Lando Norris is ahead of Russell. It's all happening. This is season one. Oh, red flag, red flag. What's this for? What is this for? Now here we are tackling turn three. And unable to do anything about that crash. But no matter the severity of the crash, it's always good to see the driver emerge unharmed. That's probably like the most subdued reaction to a red flag. I will ever have in this series. I was like, oh, red flag. Oh yeah, fair. <laughs> red flag then. It's literally in the title of my stream. Uh, and Frontier have delivered. We are P9, P10. Not in a bad spot. Uh, well, this is perfect for, for Lando. Because now he can just go softs for the rest of the Grand Prix. With Oscar... We'll whack on the mediums for Oscar, and then go soft to finish off. It makes sense while we're in this uh, bit of traffic. Uh, for Lando, uh, I reckon we switch to a two-stop now. So we go softs, and then softs. Easy game. Alternatively, we can go mediums again towards the end if we want to, but I think we're going to try out softs for a bit. A sense of deja vu here as the drivers once again face the countdown. Mediums. Few softs. Sonoda's got a penalty. We go. Off we go. Good thing. Oh, we have all the battery in the world here. All the battery in the world. Attack. Use the overtake button. Yep. Yeah, a lot of people aren't on hards. It's medium soft for most people, guys. There's no need to panic. And let's go back up to aggressive. Off the start. Make up some places. Uh, time to try and start overtaking cars in front. Come on, come on, come on. Get Alonso. Get Alonso. Lando's going to be quick in this phase of the Grand Prix. There we go. There's eighth place. What a start. Oh, big dive from Nando. Deploy, deploy, deploy. Another red flag. You're joking. Not another one? Really? Lando was through. Red Lando was honestly flag. through that corner. Now the focus is on Lando. The North. contact happens at the apex. Lando then like there understeers the or slides into the barrier. The and that's probably killed our car. Not ideal. I can't believe that was a red flag. F*** you, Fernando. Honestly. Such tiny contact, and that is the end of our day for Lando. Very good. I don't think hards is the play. I don't think hards is the play. There could be more red flags. Piastri is bad on tires as well. It'll be a sitting duck on hards. Let's go mediums, and we'll assess the race from here. Our race here resumes as we get back underway. I bet Fernando's still in the race, by the way. Yep, Alonso is still in the race. That's fair. I 
Alright, it's Oscar's time to shine. Deja vu. That was a mahoosive sense. Nando, stay away! I am so nervous right now. I am so nervous right now. Hey, at least we survived this time. Let's try and keep the battery at a decent level while not losing too much time. That'd be nice. Damn, Alonso's just taken out our main, like, our major breadwinner for points. Our ma major threat for points. And he gets to carry on. Unbelievable. Looks like his car is pretty unaffected too. I mean, yeah, he gets a penalty, but does the penalty, penalty fit the crime? Not really. Good. It's not all doom and gloom. We can still... Uh, aim now is to get a point with Oscar. Our low battery deployment there has kept us behind, which gives us DRS. See you later, son. Yeah, I don't need to see the replay. I might have seen it already. Ricardo is OP. Of course he'd be OP when I don't have him anymore. In fact, no, we've, not, we've never used Ricardo in manager before. Hello. Would now be a good time to start. Oh, let's go back up to attack here. And we'll probably want to deploy because we're going to fall out again. We're not exactly catching the next group of cars, are we? 50.1. Yeah, no, Alonso's very quick. He definitely doesn't have damage. No damage for Alonso. Brilliant. This is our prime focus now. Just making sure that we pull away from everyone behind to guarantee a point. After this, once, once P10 is secure, then we push for P9 or better. There could be more incidents for the top 10. Right now, we're just trying to play it smart and... Um, you know, make the most out of our slow car. Because if we if we were on our own and we didn't have DRS here, we'd be falling into the clutches of everyone behind. Ooh. Yes, he. Oh! Karma. And yes, yes we have. We've had a crash. <laughs> what happened there? Wait, I want to watch it. I want to watch it. I want to watch it. Now this was a <laughs> turn three. The cars jostling for position. Oh, that's quite an impact Karma. between them. And I imagine their confidence will have taken a knock. <laughs> I'm really upset about that. Really, really upset. So that's a safety car. We could go mediums, which could get us to the end of the race. They're both out. Mediums or hards? Hards would probably work a little bit better. But mediums would be quicker. And there could be more safety cars later. So I, I think it probably makes sense to make a pit stop here even if it means that we go down to last we can go to the end we're gonna chance it confirm box people are coming in okay double stack for ferrari double stack for red bull what tires are the leaders going to softs 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 uh, that's a slow stop. Red Bull had a really slow stop there. Really slow. All right, Oscar's in the lane. Here we go. On to mediums. Everyone is in the lane. This helps us. I think that was just a hold in the fast lane. Not a great stop. Soft, medium, soft, medium, soft, medium, medium, medium. Soft. Split strategies. Those on softs are stopping again. If this is a long safety car period, this helps get us to the end. 100%. Safety car is in this lap. Safety car is in this lap. Okay, let's go. Okay, buddy, now it's your turn. Let's get stuck in. <laughs> Pretty uneventful restart. Everyone just chilling. Everyone goes balls to the wall with their tyres. Those ahead, or well, Gasly's on soft, so it's going to be hard to make an impression on him. Uh, full deploy modes. Magnuson on mediums, which eases the pressure on us. Still, top 10 is the aim, and hopefully we can do that. Especially now with soft runners making an extra stop. 1.3 seconds to Gasly. This is not ideal. Come on, Charles, do your thing at the castle. <laughs> Somehow, Perez has got ahead of Leclerc. So Leclerc had... A hugely costly pit stop to drop behind him. That's crazy. We do not have the pace. 
Is it better to let Magnuson go here? It would appear that way. Save tires behind this guy. It'll be interesting to see if they can build a pit stop. Oh my word, I thought we ran into him. Come on, please. I, I really want to burn through this fuel, guys. I'm so keen to get rid of it. Oh, good. Do we not even have the pace of a Haas? Uh, quicker in a straight line. Quicker in a straight line. I do have DRS. Lovely stuff. Don't overtake. Just stay in this happy region. Or overtake. Ignore me. Use the pace now. Copy. Or squabble. That's also fine. It's not like we're racing people on softs. We're not racing people on softs or anything. It's not like it's important to stay close to the leaders. This is fine. Oh my god. Oh my god. What in the school of racecraft is this? Who gets the RS? Well, at least it's us. Oh, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> what the hell? Seven seconds to the next car. This is so stupid. Think about the bigger picture. Yep, here we go. For another lap of shenanigans. Okay, if there's a safety car or a VSC. Uh, safety car. If there's a safety car, we're boxing for softs. That tire wear is very low. I guess we can manage this a little bit better by harvesting. Not deploying so much. Taking a little bit out of the tires to keep keep a bit of a distance. It's about the only way we can nerf him. Yeah, okay. Alright, this is working better. This is working better. Ocon will attack though. Yep, kids. We can't stop them from doing stupid things, but maybe Ocon can drag us along at a quicker pace. Let's see what Ocon's pace is now. Oscar? What's this? Yeah, pace has been picked up. They are picking up the pace for sure. Last lap, 49.6. 48.2. Yeah, pace is way quicker now. 48.2. We're closing in on Gasly. All right, let's go. We're using one Alpine to screw the other. Okay. Magnussen, if you know what's good for you, let Ocon lead. Now, this is okay. This is working much better for us. This is now protecting us from Gasly at the back end. We're not losing time to, to, to Gasly anymore. Although this is all based on if the AI box again, which I am <laughs> starting to doubt that they will. Only 12 laps to go. I don't think they're boxing. Tire wear is better than anticipated. Last lap from Ocon was a 49.3. What's this going to be? 47 for Magnussen. Where's he found that pace from? That is nuts. All right, we have to go attack mode. Because if we don't go, we're going to lose the RS. We're going to lose the RS to the Haas. Now he doesn't want to fight. Now he doesn't want to overtake. This is so scuffed. So scuffed. Come on, Ocon. Where's that pace from a couple of laps ago? This is so weird. I can't... I, what? I don't understand. Ocon had mad pace a couple of laps ago, and now it's Magnussen who's absolutely flying. Magnussen might actually catch up to Gasly. If we don't get this guy, we're not catching Magnussen. Please. Please. You have a clear lane. Thank you. Now, push on. Let's go. Everything you have now. Oh, f*** off. Go away. Don't be annoying. Oh, good. You are the worst. He's throwing. He's throwing so that we don't catch Gasly. That's 100% what he's doing. Maybe this is Ocon's turn to deploy. Oh, good. Oh, good. Very good. He's low. How did we... How did we get in this position? How did we allow this to happen? Okay, Ocon do Ocon things. Hold him up. Hold him up for me. Yes, please. Okay, I got no battery for the rest of the lap. That's going to be fun. <laughs> okay, side by side through Castlers. Let me off the hook here. 1.3, 1.1, 1.3. 1 Jesus. All right, we're in trouble. People on Sauce have better tire wear than us. Gasly has got better tires. Absolutely huge. But... With seven laps to go, at least we are potentially looking at a point here. I think they're gone now. I think I think that's the race. I'm I'm literally maxed out with battery. We don't exactly have the facilities to like back off with battery and to save. We just have to hope that they squabble and we fall into DRS. Five laps to go. Come on. Can Oscar get his first ever point in Formula One? We are yeeting the tires to pull this off. Let's go down to aggro. Three to go. 
Ferrari have secured that one too. Race leaders on the last lap and actually squabbling, fighting for the lead of the Grand Prix. I think it was Leclerc who had a double stack behind Carlos Sainz under that safety car pit stop. And now on the last lap, he takes the lead of the Grand Prix. That is absolutely huge. He's at 200 IQ plays from Carlos Sainz. Has he saved battery for that final run up to the line? We'll have to wait and see. But Ferrari looking pretty good here. As long as they don't throw it away. Oh, it's 1.2 seconds. Leclerc has absolutely smashed this in complete control on this last lap through the middle sector. Pulls a second gap. His teammate has no answer. Charles Leclerc is going to win the Azerbaijan Grand Prix in a Ferrari. Absolutely massive. What a race win. Recovering the deficit and dominating his teammates. Absolutely huge. Verstappen gets P3. Fourth for Sergio Perez. And an absolute daylight to Mr. Stroll. And then even further daylight to Gasly. And then this little squabbling pack, which we could have been in. But we just didn't have the legs with uh, Piastri's smoothness, I guess. We were always fighting a losing battle. This car is pretty slow. We were trying to make the most of DRS and Slipstream of those faster cars ahead. But we just dropped out of DRS range. Still have the pace to carry on and finish in the points. First points in Formula 1 for Oscar Piastri. you got to start somewhere. There we go. Oscar gets on the boards. And... Charles Leclerc starting to uh, make a title challenge of this. Only six points behind Max Verstappen. This is the 2023 season we were hoping for, but we didn't get. This is this is a rematch of 2022 between these two guys. That'll be interesting to see how this goes on. But for us, Lando drops a couple of points. Well, a few points by virtue of getting shafted by Alonso in this one. Unfortunate to, to not make it to the end. I think points are pretty much guaranteed for Lando. He had... I reckon he had probably half a second on, on Oscar per lap. So he could have got P7 potentially. Maybe even more. I really don't know. Oscar though gets on the board. Hopefully that helps his confidence and allow him to kick on in this season of... I was going to say my team career mode. Of manager career mode. Out to P14 in the driver's standings. Constructors edging away from Williams. Trying to put pressure on Haas. They had a good day. The rest are in another league. Oh. Our pit stop was actually pretty good. We just got held in the fast lane. That uh, cost us a few positions. But yeah, we're leading the uh, fastest pit stop competition of the Constructors. Absolutely huge. Hopefully Oscar can get some development points for his pace. Uh, either pace or uh, tire saving would be, be good. But man... Chat on Twitch right now is absolutely savage. They're calling for Oscar to get fired after getting points. That is absolutely mad. Uh, guys, that is this episode for today. In the next one, we'll deal with the ramifications of Baku, uh, the missing car parts, the uh, future upgrades we're going to do. We're going to go through all the car inspection stuff and uh, potentially look into reserve driver. Uh, but for now, I, I suppose the, the focus is really on upgrading the car and the facilities. I suppose reserve driver is probably low on the priority list considering these two are probably going to be the mainstays for now. Um, and if we did want to replace a driver, we'd probably just get an experienced driver in to be honest. But that's up for debate. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. More points today. It's better than I could have asked for. Let's move on to Miami next where hopefully more carnage is waiting.